each time i approach people for help they'll end up taking advantage of me okay at that age in my life including my uncles nobody were out to help me that was how i joined her in her business Hello people, it's your boy Skitu Akobedi aka the next governor. But today again, we don't enter to do that thing with we do best. Um, today matter, it gets as it take no one be. Um, this matter, it touched me. It touched me. I'm here again with my bag. It touched me. And anything will touch me, eh? I don't know. I don't know. This one touched my body, spirit, and soul. Now this young lady here, and I didn't bring this matter, come give me. And as she call me, tell me this very matter, um, I cry. I said, what in this world did they turn into? Yeah, but may not be like saying I mean they tell us this story. I don't promise and I say I know they waste on her time. I would like me to go meet this young girl here so that she will narrate this story to now. The same way where she take narrate and for email will make me invite her. I say, Come anything where it go cost me, may it cost me bet. I will make sure say you day all right. But before then, I beg, I beg on my fans, please don't allow yourself to be used, don't allow anybody to use you. Be wise, be wise. Before a person asks you, say, Miss Kitlo, may do this one. Confirm and very, very sure. Eh? And you ready to go to my village? Go find me. I beg. I know the village. Stop going to my village. Stop intruding in my privacy. Stop budging in on me. As you continue to obey and be a royal fan, may God com continue to bless you now and always. Now, let's go there. Let's dive into the matter we make us come here today. Um, <clears throat> Hello, Ne. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Um, I'm okay. Okay, um, and because of the gravity of your story, where I read for email, now it make me I they cover your identity, so I don't want to know your name. Withhold your name, I don't want to know your name. So, but I want you to narrate this story to the world the same way we narrate them to for me for email. When make me invite you, say make you come, we will see as we won't take help you. So I beg, tell us this story, yeah? Okay, sir. Um. I'm an orphan okay. and sadly I lost my parents in an early stage. Okay. I was 14 when my parents died. Okay. Ever since then, I couldn't get help from anybody. Okay. Each time I approach people for help, they'll end up taking advantage of me okay. at that age in my life including my uncles nobody were out to help me hi people yeah things they happen just imagine a 14 years old girl then anybody where she go meet for help wants to take advantage of her including her uncles because she lost her parents at a tender age i beg Waiting, no good, no good. May she continue her story before we go. No waiting, we we'll talk. So, so I started hustling at that age. Okay. I started from hawking. I hawk water. I hawk oranges. Any kind of fruit that comes, I dive into it. Okay. Along the line, I might have ended up a victim of for like three to four times for real yes then at that age 14 years of age mm -hmm. so i hoped for like i was surviving on my own for four years mm -hmm. so one day i went for an outside walk to go and see sand so i was stranded there so I was on the road waiting. Just calm down. Just relax. Put yourself together. Calm down. I understand. I understand. <coughs> you say you went on an errand on the what? On the sea sand. Have you I don't understand. Sand to see sand from the water to okay. sell those steeper okay. people. Okay. So after the day's job, I couldn't meet up to go back home. Mm -hmm. So I was stranded. I needed somewhere to lay my head and sleep. Mm -hmm. So. That night, I was on the road thinking about what to do when I met a young lady. Mm -hmm. She met me due to the way I was sitting and crying that night. Mm -hmm. She was like, what is the problem? Very pretty lady. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. so i thought that i was stranded i had nowhere to go she said okay i should come with her that i can stay in her in her house okay. i said okay no problem she took me home i took my bed she gave me her clothes to wear she was very nice to me mm -hmm. so i she said i should feel at home and i did so in the night we had a discussion she was like asking me and i told her everything about me how i have been surviving she said okay that she was going to help me i was very happy she said she would link me up i said okay no problem that i can do anything just to be comfortable in life she said okay no issue so that night we slept in the morning she took me to one hotel here in Togo. so she said this is where we'll be staying as we are walking i said okay no problem that was how i joined her in her business wait 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 if i heard you well that means the girl that pretty lady you are talking about now she be yes sir she works in a hotel yes as sir a stripper. yes sir okay now what happened so i was doing it but my conscience my conscience was really judging me because i know my parents won't be happy anywhere they are but i had no option i've tried my best even the normal job i needed to do even if i approach the people the managers or anything they will end up sleeping with me along the line if i walk one or two months i'll end up getting sacked so i was tired i needed to be a boss on my own that was when i decided that i would do anything that would fetch me that money so when i met her she she told me everything i needed in that business and i started the business with her i met different men yes money was coming out but i have sold my conscience my conscience was like my conscience was really really getting at me so i'm a fan of yours i always saw your videos and how you've been helping people so i was like i'm tired of this kind of life because i'm no longer myself i i can no longer sleep it's just as if each time i sleep my parents i see them crying so it has happened several times i always see my mom mostly crying so since the last time it happened i couldn't forgive myself i decided that i'll meet you to help me okay okay people should be when i hear this <coughs> young girl story this story here yeah? this story is very very touching when i read her story i cried and right now she's saying this story i'm 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 like crying i feel like crying like seriously so um the reason why i invited her is to find a way i can to find a way of helping her out of that situation no please where do you stay now i'm still in the hotel sir you are still in the hotel yes sir okay so but if i get you are you ready to stop that work are you ready to stop that 100 percent sir i'm ready to stop i want to turn a new leaf you want to turn a new leaf okay it breaks my heart to see a young girl living a life that is not her own. She's actually living a life that is not her own. That was why when I come across her email, I gave her my number and asked her to come. When she came, I invited her over. So my people, I don't have no other option than to help this young girl. It can happen to anybody. It can be my daughter tomorrow. No one can tell. You understand? No one can tell. So, my dear, stop crying. Don't worry. So now, if I get you, if I get you an apartment, you say you stay in the hostel. That means you are staying with those strippers. Yes, sir. Okay. First thing first, I will want you to leave that place because they said bad company corrupts good manners. First of all, you have to leave that place. We are going to. I'm going to find a way. Let us rent an apartment for you. Eh? Yeah? I will, if I give you money, can you look for an apartment for yourself or I should rent it myself? Which one? Should I give you money to go look for an agent? Calm down. Calm down. I'm here to help you. And I know any of my fans that wants to help you, that want to um, help you, can send anything to you through me. So now, I want to give you money to rent an apartment, to leave that hotel 
and go look for somewhere you can stay on your own why i arrange for a decent job for you are you in for that yes sir. you are in for that yes sir. okay um fans i don't tell runa yeah i want to look for a way to help this young lady i don't get much you but the little way you say me i get i they always like to help use them help people i they always like to use them help people yeah the little way i get i don't get money mm -hmm. I beg, stop crying. I know what make you cry. I beg. I know what make you cry. I know what make you cry, yeah? Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. See, take this money. This, this is 250,000 naira. Calm down, relax. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Come, stand up. Just stand up. Hmm? Stand up. This is 250,000 naira. Stop crying now. Stop crying. You won't make me to start crying. You won't make me to begin crying. Just, I understand how you feel. Just calm down. This is 250,000 naira. I know it's going to rent, if not anything, at least one room self-contained for you. Yeah? All you just need to do is just look for an agent. Hmm? Look for an agent. Let them get you an apartment yeah? with this money. And I promise you by within a few days now, from now till the end of this week, I will talk to some friends and see... <laughs> If I will get anybody that will help you, I will look for a job, a decent job for you. Well, I'm promising you that as you have decided to turn a new leaf, to change from this lifestyle that you are living that is not your own, that heaven would honor you. Heaven would honor you. Eh? I will not... See, I don't enter your case. You see, this is your case where I enter now. Calm down. Now, this case, I go follow up this case. In fact, I'll be your brother. Take me as your brother. I'll be your papa where you know get. I'll be your mama. Eh? I beg, calm down, just calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, yeah, calm down. God knows everything. Before anything starts happening in this life, God knows it. So please, eh, I don't want you to go back to that hotel again, eh? I don't want you to go back to that hotel. From this morning now, you can rent a hotel for yourself, eh? Maybe for pay for two nights, pay for two nights in the hotel. Then, as you are paying for two nights, start looking for an accommodation, look for an agent, eh? If this money is not enough, call me, I will make it, I will complete it. And I promise you that from now to a week or two weeks time, I will get you a decent job. Eh? So please, just put yourself together. Then put yourself together, no problem. And um, fans, eh, Shabin, I don't see waiting happen here. Eh? When I don't see waiting happen here, I beg, I beg, I want you, eh, anybody will get anything when you use assist us. May this girl, they okay. May stop to live this life when they live. Eh? I don't give them 250k, I will still do more. Eh? I will still do more by grace of God who strengthen me. Not be by my power, not be by my mind. Now God did do one. So if you have any little thing, if you feel safe, if you support this young lady here so that she will start a new life of her own, please do and God will bless you. So without wasting anybody's time, I want you to go to the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this very issue. Things that happen for this world. Things that happen for this world. People, they fall victim. Understand? So please, I want you to go to the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this very issue. Eh? And don't forget to comment respectfully. Don't insult anybody. Don't call anybody name. Eh? Don't forget that it pays to give than to take. If you have anything to support this lady with, please, you can send it through me. Eh? And it will get to her. And don't forget to share and comment and like after watching. Eh? And don't forget to see there in the business of doing adverts. Yeah, if you got any genuine business where you want to do advert, for please don't fail to contact us. Your Facebook page is due for monetization. Please email me with um skitlordcomedy at gmail.com. Just contact us at scheme, um contact us at skitlordcomedy at gmail.com. And I will tell you what and what to do for us to monetize your Facebook page and advertise your product. Yeah? Please, as you continue to follow Skit Lord Comedy to stay updated. May God bless you now and always. I beg, I beg. If you don't watch this video now, you won't cut up. Please share this video. Share this video and God will bless you. Sister, just calm down. Hmm? Calm down. We will see what to do to help you. Hmm? So that you will turn a new leaf. Eh? Just calm down. So fans, please, if there's any how you can help, if there's any to how you can help, please. I don't like talking about this thing. I know they like to tell people, say, help, help. No, I know they for that party. But if it touch you in your heart, say, you won't help somebody, please. Ask for my account number and I will give you, eh? I will give you my account number. I they use neither Access Bank or FCMB. Okafor Kingsley is my 
account name so that in case if you see if i post them so that i go no say that the account number be that or he email me and i will give you the account number i beg let's help this young girl eh to stand if i don't get to no problem god will provide for all of us but i will do the little what i won't do and i allow god to take proper control so as you share this video may god meet you at that point of your need i don't want care to know i don't care to know the point of that need whether a sickness or money or anything that you are passing through may god meet you at that point of your need in jesus name amen thank you and god bless you